The Great Reindeer Rebellion, written by Lisa Trumbauer, illustrated by Janny Ho. Twas the week before Christmas, and somewhere up north, dear Santa was frantic. He paced back and forth. He had just heard some news that he sure didn't like. It seemed that the reindeer were going on strike. Yes, Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, even Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. They said, we are finished. We've had quite enough of pulling your sleigh with such big, heavy stuff. We're striking, dear Santa, and until things get better, no pulling or flying, we're in this together. So Santa decided, that's fine, be that way. I'm sure I'll find others who will pull my sleigh. He wrote up a want ad for lands far and near. Please come and help Santa or no Christmas this year. Soon creatures came running and leaping and clomping, hopping and flying and creeping and romping. So many to choose from. Which one should I pick? I'll show those old reindeer. They can't stop Saint Nick. Let's start with the pooches. Yes, dogs would be best. Then he hooked them all up and he gave them a test. To the top of my wall, to the top of my roof. And the dog started scrambling and barking. Woof, woof. They're flying. I knew it. St. Nick began yelling. But then those eight dogs started sniffing and smelling. There's food, the dogs whimpered. Yes, food. Come this way. And the dog scampered off forgetting the sleigh. I won't be discouraged. Come on, cats. It's showtime. The cats trotted over and were harnessed in no time. Go, fly, Santa hollered, to the top of that hill. So the cats all dashed forward and they'd be running still. If not for the stray mouse that ran in their way, they took off the harness, no flying today. No pooches, no felines, what am I to do? How about some true flyers, called Santa. Yoo-hoo! Flamingos, he summoned, it's your turn, let's go. And I must say your pink looks divine in the snow. They soared up to the roof where they gracefully perched. You've got it, said Santa. But they started to lurch. On one leg they wobbled and hobbled and slipped up. They soon lost their balance. Oh, how they tipped up. Just then came eight hopefuls a hopping along. I think we can help you and we're all very strong. Yes. Yes, welcomed Santa. I think you will do. Then he har harnessed them up, those eight red kangaroos. That's it, declared Santa. You're hired. Let's go. But the hoppers soon struggled. They started to slow. They stopped, then they stumbled. They looked quite ashamed, for their pouches were loaded. This weight was to blame. We took all your presents, the red ruse said sadly. We're sorry, dear Santa, for behaving so badly. And then Santa heard it, a trumpeting sound, as eight marching elephants shook up the cold ground. Good fellow, we'll help you. We're sturdy and steady. So he harnessed them up and the great beasts were ready. They stomped then took off. Nick said, you can do it. They sailed to the rooftop and then fell right through it. 
You're too heavy, griped Santa as he helped them to stand. Isn't anyone out there who can give me a hand? No sniffers, no chasers, no animal grouches, no one-legged birds, and no creatures with pouches. Well, but who should come over but the reindeer? How strange. We'll help you, dear Santa, but a few things must change. A whirlpool and sauna would make us quite able and real beds, not grass, and a heater and cable. You will have it and more. That's a promise of fact. Then the reindeer and Santa signed a lifelong contract. And that's how it happens that near Christmas day, you'll always see Santa and pulling his sleigh, our eight trusty reindeer who love being in flight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.